Card Insights 101, ready to do your reading for November. I hope you guys are doing well. There's some exciting things coming up in November. The very first card that you guys get is the wheel. The wheel is turning, and they were showing me this wheel just turning. This wheel is turning. New beginnings end of delays, a change in direction that offers you happiness. It's like the wheel is turning. It's interesting because in a lot of other readings they're getting the, ch the change in the wind. For you guys it's a wheel. The wheel is turning and it's time for new beginnings. And the very next card that you get is new beginnings. <laughs> Two cards talking about new beginnings that bring you happiness. Starting a new life. Finding your purpose. Forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So it's interesting, he's looking at, you know, he's looking at the past. He's looking at all these figures that are kind of shadowed in the past. A compassionate and forgiving view of the past will help this new beginning that looks like it's destined to take you to happiness new beginnings and just having compassion for the past and letting it go. For some of you it might feel like the reason that these two cards are coming first is because for some of you it might be that there's some, some sort of chaos, where to go, chaos. Chaos and conflict might be brewing. I wasn't sure where this card was going to fit. Here it is, right here, right straight top and center. It's like sometimes life pushes, life, the pressure, uh, the chaos, the beauty of chaos is that it ultimately brings order. And so for some of you it feels like that's where you're at, like, like maybe uh, sort of spinning. Interesting that it's a wheel, right? Some of you may be spinning. So, you know, chaos feels like a strong word. Uh, it feels kind of strong. Um, also just kind of spinning, you know, should I do this, should I do this, should I do this, should I do this? And some ideas of not going forward are just coming from doubts and fears from the past. So it's time to take a really good look at the past with compassion, forgiveness, so you can let it go. Because if you're stuck in this sort of wheel, this sort of loop, this sort of chaos, Eventually, you're going to come to some decisions about, you know, okay, you know, you could do that for, you could do that forever. You could stay in this spin forever. But the fact that this is coming first as it's foundational to your reading and that there's two of them talking about new beginnings, it feels a bit like destiny. It feels a bit like life is going to get even more chaotic to sort of add that pressure till until you get that clarity of, okay, how to move forward and how to actually, you know, start this new life. That spirit is saying is right around the corner for you with the turn of the wheel. With the turn of the wheel. Because there's a better way, there's a better course of action available to you, and there's something better waiting for you. So it could be that where you are right now, you're not completely, you know, just sort of, fulfilled, maybe there's not a fulfilling feeling with where you are, there's something better for you. And the wheel is turning to take you to this, this something better. It's time to move. It's time for new beginnings. It's time. It's time to move quickly. And the next card that comes up talks about sudden changes, sudden things. Things can happen really fast. And you know, this, this review of the past, too, that can happen in one meditation. That can happen in an afternoon walk in nature. You know, just, just to be able to look at the past in a different way, realize that, you know what, there is something better. I, I'm not completely fulfilled. There, there must be something better. And in fact, there is. So now's a really good time because the winds have changed, the wheels are turning. There's a new wave of, of energy coming on the planet. It's like, you know, in this ascension process, the dial's getting turned up again here pretty soon. So things are changing. Things are shifting. And it's time. And things will be happening quickly. So they're inviting you to choose logic over emotion 
with this next move that you take, whatever that's going to be. We're getting an exciting new challenge that may come in really quickly. This one is wanting to come up with this one. Sudden changes. Exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts, documents, depending on what the situation is. It might be a job kind of situation where you want to look at the contract closely using logic. Using logic over emotion. The mind, the mental. Does this make sense kind of thing. It is safe to trust. The ability to accomplish many things. You can accomplish lots of things. Follow your creative passions. Uh, it is safe to trust yourself. You have a lot of experience. You've invested wisely. You've planted a lot of seeds. You've done a lot of learning. This learning card's coming up too. Okay, so these guys want to go together. It is safe to trust yourself in whatever choice you make next. You have a lot of wisdom from a lot of experiences. While he's sort of reading a book, some of you, you know, there's there's been a lot sort of, of experience and training and knowledge and wisdom. You know, you have what it takes. You have what it takes and you can trust yourself that you'll make a good decision. You'll make the right decision. Especially using logic, right? And decision and the mind. Strength and grace. You have the courage. You have courage. Uh, uh, show strength and grace. Confidence and forgiveness. So now this forgiveness is coming back up here with the compassion in the, however you look at the past. So in other words, as this new potential idea, this new prospect comes up, suddenly and you're asked to use logic over emotion uh, there you know there might be a reason that they're saying that as far as logic over emotion because you may have some emotional triggers around this thing that comes suddenly there may be some emotional triggers triggers of the past and so this word forgiveness is coming up again. It's like a reminder, okay, if anything emotional comes up while you're trying to make a decision about this, you know, instant, you know, sudden new challenge that may come to you, if any emotional triggers come up, you know, see if you can just kind of take a moment to go back and look at your past with compassion and forgiveness and healing and let it go. And go back into the mind and the logic to help you make this decision. So it looks like it looks like life is going to sort of present you with some great new challenge that you'll get to decide uh, you know how, how you want to go about it. Encouraging logic. You've invested wisely in all of your sort of training in terms of following your passions and what you love doing. Uh, you have a lot of experience there. You've planted a lot of seeds. And so uh, this new exciting challenge, you know, exciting is a great word. It's a positive, great word. This new beginnings is, you know, about, um, you know, bringing you happiness. Yeah, your very first foundational card. These are new beginnings that will bring you the happiness that you're looking for. There's a better way. And that better way looks like it can be coming very suddenly <laughs> for you. A gift of passion, opportunity, inspiration, the chance to do something amazing with a sense of wonder. How exciting is that? This is on the other spectrum of this where everything in between is that you have what it takes to get from here to here. This wondrous, amazing, new, exciting challenge is a gift of passion for you. It, it, it is connected to what lights you up. Um, opportunity, inspiration, uh, this give is giving you a chance to do something amazing. I wonder what this is, what's this going to be, you guys? And it feels like it comes from this review of the past, right? My readings tend to go a bit like a story. So it's as if you have, it's as if by doing this review of the past and forgiveness and letting go, 
that is sort of fundamental to this exciting new challenge coming to you, right? It sort of goes like a story. So this comes as a result of you, you know, looking at, okay, it's time for something new, new beginnings. I want something more. I know there's something better out there for me. And so looking at the past to clear up anything that may be causing chaos and any conflict that's going on in your life, clearing that up and letting it go. And then boom, right? This is how you, the universe works. When you let go of things, it sort of leaves this sort of vacuum, right? And the universe loves movement. So as soon as you let things go, there's an opening and spirit is going to fill it suddenly, very quickly. And it's all about what lights you up. It's connected to your passions. And all of this in the middle is saying, you're prepared for this, you can trust this, you've done the work. You've done the work, you've done the research, you've got tons of life experience, knowledge, wisdom, you are ready for this. Next sort of level, this something better and these new beginnings. It's time for something new and more connected to what really lights you up. This is about an unfinished symphony of your life. This is like a next chapter for you. It feels like it's work-related, definitely work-related, right? This is about work. This is an exciting new challenge, um, your passions. It feels very much like it's about work. This is a symphony. The symphony of your life, right, has symphony, has sort of sections to it, like chapters of your life. It's like it's time to sort of turn the page and go to the next chapter of your symphony. Make a wish. <laughs> Make a wish is coming up. Make a wish. Dreams become reality. This is a very joyful time of your life. This is also connected to this bringing you happiness. This change, this wheel changing is designed to bring you happiness. This is new beginnings. Look at all these cards about joyful new beginnings, joyful happiness, exciting new challenges. Exciting. I mean, there's some great, great cards, great words for you here. Milk and honey is like the ultimate joyful life. The rainbow. Everything you've dreamed of can manifest when you look at the past and let things go and have compassion, courage, confidence, forgiveness, surrender. That confidence of knowing that you can do you know, what you set your heart to do. It's safe to trust yourself. Your final two cards are that it's time to go. Time to go and go the distance. It's time to move quickly. Time to go and go the distance. In other words, go like stick with it. Stick with it. And so again, where they're saying go the distance, this is again is referring to if at any point you start to have doubts or you find yourself, you feel yourself sort of going back to the past or looking at maybe any doubts or, you know, um, not trusting yourself, those kinds of things. You know, get yourself back into remembering this and um, compassion and strength and forgiveness and confidence and knowing that you have what it takes. You've planted all the seeds. You've planted all the seeds. So it's like time to go and go the distance. Don't let anything stop you. Don't let anything stop you, especially from your past. Your past is over. In the symphony, that part has been played. That part of your symphony has been played. And we're on to what's next. What's next is going to bring you more passion, uh, fulfillment, happiness, joy, dreams coming true, rainbows. Yeah. Time to move, time to move quickly, time to go. Time to go towards your new life. Time to go to your new beginnings. It feels very much like destiny, you know. 
it's destined for you to be in a position where you absolutely, you know, have happiness in your work. Yeah, milk and honey. <laughs> New beginnings, Taurus. All right. Have a wonderful November. I love you guys. Until next time, take really good care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you soon. Mwah.